Hi, Mandy. Thanks for joining us today. I wanted to talk to you because you just published a book. Could you hold that up quickly? Ooh. Yeah, that's yay. called Rough Draft Math, Revising to Learn. And I'm going to ask my students to share their rough draft thinking. And I was wondering if you could um, explain really quickly um, what rough draft thinking is and why a teacher might ask their students to share that. So when I think about rough drafts in math class, I think about asking people to share their brainstormed ideas, their unpolished thinking, their thinking that's still in progress, maybe even something that's not done or something they think is imperfect. But I also want people to think about think when they share their ideas to always treat their ideas as a draft because those ideas can keep um, evolving and growing and changing, even if it's a pretty finalized solution, we can keep making new connections and learning more. So why? So why might a teacher ask a student to share a rough draft in a math class? So I think a lot of times in math, when we're asked to share our ideas, we feel on the spot. We feel like we're under pressure. We have to share something that we're pretty sure is right. And if we're not sure it's right, it feels really stressful. So it feels more like a performance. I have to perform that I know stuff. And it feels more like a final draft. And so if I'm worried about what I'm going to say or what I'm going to put out into the world, whether it's in writing or in words, then I'm not really open to learning more. I'm very focused on myself and, and how I appear to other people. So if I take it away, it's not a final draft, it's just a rough draft. Then it kind of releases that pressure balloon of needing to feel like you have this final draft to perform a correct solution all the time. And also, if we orient ourselves to thinking about sharing our ideas as a draft, we can think about, I'm gonna have another chance to revise this. I'm not defined by this one thing that I say or write or display. I'm not defined by that one thing. My thinking is gonna to continue to evolve and everyone's thinking is gonna to continue to evolve. So drafts can be revised. And so if we're asking all students to share drafts, that also allows them to learn from each other's thinking. So if I shared something that potentially is not complete or correct, my way of thinking could still be helpful to other people. Yes, I think that's an important part. So can I share a little more about what I think about drafts? Is that all right? Yeah. So that is an important point. This, so I um, have been orienting um, people in my math class. I teach a math class for future elementary teachers. And as we've been having an online math class together, I wanted to help us all think about what rough drafts would be like in this class. And so in the middle, I put rough draft math and on top, it, it's, it's in blue, but on top it says, our ideas at a single point in time don't define us, but you just said our drafts can help us. So the bottom part in blue says we can be works of art and works in progress simultaneously. Oh, so while our draft is something that we can keep evolving, there's going to be beauty in what somebody offers. Like any draft is something I can learn from. There's going to be some different way of representing math or, or a different way of phrasing it or a connection that I wouldn't have seen in that solution. So I think that's really important. Um, I also believe, so where it says on the right side of the image that in purple learning involves, just learning anything involves just trying it putting something out into the world, but then being open to what other people have to say. Like, what's another way that somebody thought about this? Or what's a suggestion somebody has to make? And then we're open to revising. So collectively as a community, we can all grow if we are open to revising our ideas in light of the interesting notions in someone else's draft. And our thinking evolves on the left, it says, uh, your ideas are valued and our thinking will evolve together in community. So hearing other people's drafts uh, helps us all grow as a group. So we could even generate a collective draft together after you hear more people's thinking. 
Yeah, I love that. And I usually tell my students that if they already know how to do everything when they come into my class, they're wasting their time. So, you know, like you have to learn and struggle with things to move forward. Um, did you want to talk about the outside green pieces quickly? Yeah, so I was thinking about um, what, how do we interact with someone's draft when we see it? So if we see someone's solution, maybe someone posts it online, what do we do with that now? Like, how do we respond to that? And I think that posting that solution is a risk. So on the bottom, it says take risks together. But I thought that there's different ways, like demonstrate empathy for each other also means interact with each other's work by trying to make sense out of it. Um, pointing out to people things like, this is what made sense to me. This is what I noticed. Um, this helped me understand this new thing. This makes me think about, so talking about people's work by trying to make sense out of it, I feel like that's an act of empathy. And then there's this notion of appreciating each other's work that's in the bottom uh, left corner. So uh, another way you could comment on somebody's solution is say, here's what I appreciate about how you presented your ideas. I appreciated this kind of connection or this kind of representation or this way of talking about things. So by pointing out something you appreciate, it's another act of sense making, but it's also helping people see that their solution helped you learn something. But then also challenging each other to grow. Any draft at any stage can be revised and improved. And if we um, wanna support each other, we can also help each other keep growing and learning. Well, thank you so much, Mandy. This is great. I'm so glad you, uh, we had the chance to talk about this today. All right. Stop.